Let's do something different today. Let's update Forge and let's merge a pull request. Let's see how to do that. All right, we found ourselves back in IntelliJ once more. And in this tutorial, like I said, we're going to both update Forge. Now, this does not mean we're going to update to 117. Very important. We're just going to update the Forge version as well as some other things surrounding that. And we're also going to see a pull request that I'm going to merge in. And that pull request basically enables you to use biome JSON files instead of creating your biomes with the you know mod biomes class right here where you actually make a method. So all of this is going to be handled in a JSON file, which is something that you can also basically do. And for that, we're going to switch to GitHub. So here we are on GitHub. And as you can see, 2008 Mateo has made a well, pull request here where basically added a system to well enable us to use biomes from data packs and we can see in this files changed here for example what they have changed and you know they've also changed the version of minecraft well we have been running on 36.1 since the beginning of the tutorial that was the newest version when the tutorial started so that's just how it's going to be and then something like the gradle wrapper is also going to be updated you know some things sort of you know at the edge there but what we're going to do is basically I'm just going to go into the conversation here and I'm going to say merge pull request. That means that all of the changes that 2008 Mateo has made are then going to be inside of the master branch. We're then going to basically download those changes onto the project and then we're going to go through and I'm going to shortly explain what is basically happening. So what I'm going to say is merge pull request and basically, you know, put this here in. That's fine. And I'm going to confirm the merge. Now this has been merged, as you can see. And now this pull request is also is merged and closed at the same time. We now have the change in here in the master branch. So you can see five days ago, five days ago, and this is the added a system for biomes from a data pack. So that's basically what we can see here. And now when we actually open the project again, we are actually going to use this update project button. And I'm going to say OK. And now it's going to download and fetch the changes. And after that has been done, you can see eight files updated in a two commits. So those were the two commits that basically happened there. And if I go into the tutorial mod class, we're already in here. You can see there the mod biome data pack. And I can middle mouse button click on it. And this is how it looks. It's actually fairly straightforward. As you can see, we only need a registry key for this biome. The reason we actually want to create a registry key here is that we can actually reference the biome inside of our code. Otherwise, we can't really reference it anywhere. So that's very important. And then the actual data for the biome is now under the data folder tutorial mod world gen biome and then also configured surface builder so we need a configured surface builder for this biome this is pretty much the same thing that we've done before as well so this is just a config of the top of the under and the underwater material here in this case and this json file here is basically exactly what we've done in the mod biomes class with this make riff biome method almost everything that we've put in here can be defined in here as well and there's another great resource that you can take a look at which is once again miss out github io and then slash world gen slash a biome linked of course in the description below and this makes you be able to simply add the biome json and generate it here once again so this is a very good idea if you want to basically try something out and yeah that's uh, linked in the description as well now back to here we're not going to go through this in its entirety as you can of course clearly see this is fairly complicated and there is a lot of things in here but if you use the generator, then it's going to be a little bit easier, of course. And overall, this is pretty much all that, that really happened here. This is pretty much the entire change. All of the code, of course, as you have seen, available in the GitHub repository or individual gists as well. And once again, thank you very much to 2008 Mateo for actually introducing this change right here. And now let's see if it works. Right, don't forget to create a new world for this because, of course, once again, we've changed the world generation and whether or not you're going to create a new world doesn't actually matter. If you go into a new world or in an old world, you will see this. Worlds using experimental settings are not supported. This is simply an error that you will get when you use JSON files. So the data packs basically to add certain things like the biome, for example, or a custom dimension. It's just how it's going to be. So you will get this warning. You can simply click proceed and then everything should work totally fine. Right, so let's see if I put in locate biome, we should actually see the amethyst biome as a choice here. And it has also spawned. So let's go in there. And there you go. There it is. So that's actually how easy it is. You can see 
there's amethyst here and then amethyst at the very top so that's basically the configured surface builder that has been created here and as you can see it works totally fine now it does look uh, you know a little striking i will admit that but that's of course not the point the point is that the biome has been successfully added to the game Right, and that would already be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would, of course, appreciate a like. Don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. So, yeah.